Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Automation Empire. And I've been uh, sitting here for a little bit, letting, uh, as you can, letting the funds build up, and at the same time, too, letting the research build up. And as you can see, we have about 48,000, so we're going to go ahead and claim that, because we're going to unlock something today. I actually want to get the, the step conveyors, and see if I can stop these drones from flying back and forth all the time. So let's do that go ahead and unlock the step conveyors. Now what I intend to do with this, and I just realized this isn't going to work the way I intended. Yeah, I was going to have the step conveyors actually come outside the door. Maybe the conveyors can go out the doors and just must be built inside. Hmm. That's a shame, because I was hoping I'd be able to have get produced and actually brought outside, waiting for them. So that means I can't build it over here. Hmm, that is a shame. I was hoping I'd be able to get those connected like that. Anyway, so that kind of blows my idea for the day, but at least we've got the research, we got the conveyors going so we can start getting stuff moved around inside. Uh, let's... Let me actually check something here. Hang on. Okay, well, I was going to say let's uh, upgrade, get some more drones built, and go from there. But I was just looking at a power situation, and we're due for another power plant. So you know, let's go ahead and do that since we have the funds 25,000. Let's go ahead and get this in the grid somewhere. It won't fit in there. Fine, we'll put it on the other drone housing. So that doubles our power output, which makes things so much so much better which means i can build more drones because we need more drones and i'm just gonna put this one right in the back here now i was thinking about this warehouse here i think i might actually move this over here and then uh, double up the truck stops and let's actually go ahead and do that and we're gonna pause everything just to make sure we don't cause a mess here uh, wrong button there we go sell that sell the conveyors zoom in so you actually see what I'm doing here and we can sell that pole too gotta love that sound all right and then we actually have to choose demolish here and I don't think we actually get money back oh we do okay that's good all right well let's get rid of these poles because they're gonna be in the way Oh, cool. Little sparks. That's always nice. Anyway, uh, let's actually make this one red because this is going to be our iron line. Uh, I have 88,000. Hmm. Let's get another truck stop here, I think. That way I can get a rough idea where I want to put the factory. Because I basically want to have the doors there and. No, maybe we'll do it like this. Make it a five by five. We'll add a couple of doors here. And I wanna see if we can put another truck pit stop on the other side. See if I can mirror it. No, we won't allow it. That is such a shame. I'm wondering if you can branch off the road. Yeah. Okay, that makes things a little more interesting. And that means I could probably do something like this. Do that. Grab the road. Connect it like so. Perfect. Uh, except for the fact that I can't do anything here. It won't connect. So I'd have to move them back. Yeah, let's do that. Move those back just one space. There, and there, and then we can do the. I'm sorry, what? Oh, the drone's in the way. Okay. I 
Excuse me, this is my first time building roads in this game. I will get the hang of it eventually. Oh, oh, I see what I did. Okay, I gotta do that. Now, how did I get that over there? Give me a second. Hmm, I think I had something to do with that. Me have another truck stop somewhere. I can't seem to repeat it. So we'll, we'll just go ahead and sell that. So we'll set that priority high. We'll set everything. Nothing, none but iron. We'll do that. And we go over here. We're going to get two combiners in here. Or two refiners. And one there, one there. Oh. Uh, that's not what I want. Can't remember the buttons I'm pushing here. And we'll do that now, just because. Let's actually see what these step conveyors do. Now does it actually split? Okay, yeah, it turns. That's what I thought it did. So we do something like this. Uh, hmm. Probably there. I'll take another one. We'll rotate this like that. Actually, we'll get rid of that one here. And that's the wrong one. We'll take this one here. And I'll bring it over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the unload stations uh, just at this door here. So the the drone so the drones don't have to travel as far that's the plan anyways uh, they seem to have a mind of their own but that's fine as long as they do their job after all it's not like I'm paying them why can't I place a door up top oh yeah for like mine cars and stuff like that to come in okay, I don't know why the door didn't place the first time Alright, yes, so that is intake. That's not what I wanted to do. And we'll have a load station here and there. And then we'll have. We'll probably just have straight unload stations at this end here. And I need another door. Why not? Now they, now they can't complain about anything. Now for that. I'm wondering if uh, this unload conveyor can, unload station can do angles. I have no idea, I'm broke. <laughs> what shall I do then? Anything I can sell? Mm, no. All I can really do is wait for a truck to go by. Actually, there's something I can sell. Now that I think about it. No, that's the wrong button. Sell a couple of those. So I can go over here and not have enough to do that anyways. I was gonna say why do I only have four drones and I realized that it took two uh just can't get the power. I guess I'll have to sell that for now. That's what happens when you make mistakes. Okay, does everything have power? Does it go through the building? No, it doesn't. Why is it not going through the warehouse? Does power not work like that in this game? I guess not. Alright, that leaves me 13,000. Sold the drones. I want to try to get that conveyor over here a little f quicker. I could. Anyway, uh, let's turn that on. This is going to be iron only. Nope. Iron only. Okay. Do the same thing with this. None. Iron. Priority high. Turn you on. Turn you on. And then you got you set up. Turned on. Set to iron. That's iron. And. 
feel like I'm forgetting something. Other than more drones. Oh, that sucks. So when you lose power, you lose all your drones. Oh, it looks good. Now these conveyors, they move one second intervals and they just move along forward one by one. They don't move continuously, but that's fine because that actually moves a lot faster than what these can do. 11 seconds to refine it. Alright, so that is going. He is picking that up, but that's the whole point of me moving the unload station. Now, is it actually going to go down? That's what I'm wondering. Do these actually do bends? No, they do not. That's a shame. I was hoping that would work. Unfortunately, I can't use uh, the step conveyors. Yeah. Hmm. What I could do is pause the game. Get rid of all this stuff, including that. Then we're going to place it down again. We're going to rotate it. I'm going to try to keep it in line with that connector. If I would actually do that right. Of course I don't. Just come right off of it. Okay, so that's for, as best as I can do. We'll go to transport. Oh, these don't connect, really? Well, that's no good. Just no good at all. That's fine, because we can do that. Well, we'll have to place that back. Just a little further out of the way. We'll move that. And yes, it has to make that sound every time. Okay, now, now we can get this, actually I never did check that, no, I wanted to see if you could uh, click and drag like you did with the conveyors, uh, but that did not work, and neither did that apparently, yeah, I have trouble with the cameras because it's rotating around the point I'm zoomed in on, which happen happens to be over here. So I really should be like here when I'm playing it. But anyways, do that. We will take this again. Place that there. I'm gonna move the crater. It'd be nice if there's a move button instead of actually having to just dismantle it every time. Okay, now you take the unload station and go about as far as I can afford. Then we go from there. Let's get that off and let it go. Uh, where are the drones? Over there. They are slow. How are we doing for research? Not there yet. That's going to be probably the first thing I research is uh, upgrading the drones. That's why I wanted to put that over here. But at least that one goes out first. And I guess this is okay. It's about as close as you're going to be able to get to the warehouse. Unless I had expanded it over to here. So in that way the drone just has to go back and forth. But as you can see that's pretty expensive. But I could have made it a little bit more narrower. It's all about planning, right? Okay, so how are we doing in here? We have a backlog. Of course we do. Uh, I changed priorities too because it just wasn't working out. I need more drones. Uh, drone, please. And I gotta wait for another drone. And let's check our numbers here. So as you can see, we're almost up to a thousand. And for some reason, that went up. Oh, the metal's 45,000. 
to complete this, we need 30,000. So we're about a 3% of the way there. And we're in the red. And I'm going to let this go. We'll generate a little bit more research. Generate some more cash. And I shall return. Okay, I'm back. As you can see, we just passed 100 grand. Uh, we should have a whole bunch of research to collect. We'll clean that. Uh, I don't know what we can unlock at the moment. I almost want to say drone delivery time, but I think we're going to try something else. Because one of the things I did notice, and I was reading this on here, is the doors can be used for drones, claws, and minecarts. Now, we do have minecart technology, which is right here. It's relatively cheap, I believe. Now, I don't know how this works, but let's give it a shot. I want to see like how the unloading and unloading actually works of it. And we'll actually pause this for now, just so we don't have any issues and drones getting lost and all that stuff. But I want to see if the minecart track will actually pick things up. Uh, you're going to be that way, are you? No, we have this. Nope, not that. That's what I want. Hmm. Looks like I might have to do it that way and that way. Let's see if we can actually get this connected. I've never actually used these, so I have no idea how they actually work, if this is even going to work. And I don't have the room for this. Go figure. Hmm. I wonder if it will actually automatically connect. Oh yeah, that's right, we can change the turn type too. We have sharp turns. Let's actually try that instead. Alright, so we'll do this. Uh, okay, we want that turn. And, oh, it's one too short. Hmm. Let's try with the other side then. Uh, we do lose the crates that are on there when, it, when we do this. But that's fine. It's all in the name of science, right? Uh, Minecart, yes. Alright, we'll go this way. And... Perfect. Okay, this one actually lines up. Let that be a lesson. If you want to use minecarts, make sure you have everything in line for it to actually work. Okay, so what do we do here? Uh, okay, let's see what happens. I want to see what it actually picks up from the crater. It doesn't. Hmm. Well, let's continue testing, shall we? I'm wondering if maybe I need an unload station. Or a load unload station. Which is in here. Okay, unload station, we'll put that there. We'll just put one, we're going to leave that off, because that's for drone priority. And then we're going to go back to this. We're going to rotate it. And then we'll hit again. Now let's see what happens. Does it pick it up? It doesn't. So I'm guessing that's what I need the claw for. I'm sorry, just uh, quickly reading this stuff. Hmm. Okay, so that doesn't actually pick stuff up. Then how? Not unless it has to come from the side. 
the only thing I could think of. No, well, let's try that. And then, okay, same thing. Let's do an unload station here. Just one, and then uh, let's go to uh, minecart truck. Do it there, and change just turn tight. Go like so. Uh, let's actually check this here. I think this is just for drones. Now yeah, we could try though. We'll add a cart, see what happens. I'll leave that off and resume situ simulation. No, it's not picking it up. Okay, so that's for drones only. That's a bit of a shame. Definitely means bigger factories. Okay, well, I wanted to try that. At least we get all our money back for selling stuff. And the minecart. That's cool. Alright, well, since that is done, uh, let me get everything back to where it was, and I will move into something else. Okay, well, here's another thing we actually look at, uh, look at is uh, the claws here. Apparently, you can do turns and stuff like that, too. I believe that's a T-section. Not 100% sure, but uh, let's go ahead and research it. Now, we could get into stuff like this, like this is relatively cheap for research points, but uh, we seem to be doing okay. We have trucks waiting as it is, so I think uh, transportation of goods is more important. Maybe we just use get the drones unloading stuff onto the trucks and just have all this stuff taken care of by a machine. So we'll go here, we'll go ahead and 80,000. 80,000 and we also need to, well we just hit it now, but we have to have a certain quarterly production. Yes, that's exactly what it is. So we're at 1560, but we do need more research, which is building up. So that is going through, everything is running fine. So I guess I shall bring you back when we have some research. Okay, we're almost there. Just uh, last point going through, and then we'll have enough because it was apparently 80,000 to unlock it, not the 60 that I thought. So, there we go, we have 80,000. We go into here and we will unlock the claw, tra claw train. Okay, so let's have a look at this thing. Uh, I'm gonna pause this for now because I'm gonna be messing up production like I always do. So, let us have a look. How big is it? Oh, perfect. So that means we can go directly one block. So let's get rid of the conveyors. Or not the conveyors, the unload stations. And yeah, we'll leave one at each end. Actually, no, we'll leave it. Because I'm sure this thing only goes so fast. Okay, that should be good. So we'll go here. Now there's different things too, like... Uh, I drop off stops and pick up stops. So I have to put a pick up stop here and a drop off stop there. There's also a height. So if that is height one and that is height two, I don't see the difference. Actually, I do see the difference. Okay. Uh, So why is it not going in then? Do I have to put another wall up top? I think I do. Aha. Okay. That's fine. Alright, so we will do a drop off stop. Uh, okay, that's fine. So we go to here. I'll put a bend in and this is kind of hard because you're looking at the ground where your mouse is we need to be looking up top where the actual rail is and i realize i probably could have gone straight with that in fact take that out we'll put another another straight in if i get to line up 
Let's do it this way. Oh, I'm on a totally different height level. That explains it. Okay. Let's get my money back. My hundred bucks. You know I need it. I'm broke. What can I say? Okay. And then we do this. We go right over top. Like so. And this will be a pickup station. And that will be a drop off station. Do I actually have to buy a claw? Oh, yeah, I guess I would, but it wouldn't be that way, it'd be this way. Oh! Oh, that's interesting. So you could have like four claws in a row. As long as you have four unload stations, they would work. Let's actually try that. I'll get this out. And then I'm going to go back to that one spot I was at before. I decided to move it, which was not there. I'll go back one more. Um, so, yeah. We want a corner. And go to here. Like so, and then like that. And then what we'll do is we will add two pickup stops. And we'll put another drop off stop there and add another add another load station. Now, to make sure the drones don't do anything, we turn them off. Go here. Okay, there's a uh, functionality we can add. Do two claws. All right. Very nice. So much faster than the drones. I didn't even see how expensive that was. How much was that tr track? Dirt cheap. Well, I think in the next episode we're going to start upgrading to drones. Because this definitely seems to be the way to do it. And then, or not drones, claws. And the drones, all they'll be doing is lowering the trucks. And I think that's a good, good way to do it. Uh, I'm almost wondering if I can get the drones to drop off you know, the the claws to drop off there but the problem is you're dealing with a two by three so you know it might take a while for it to get fully loaded but at least this way it's gonna get the stuff going to the machine faster and then we don't have to worry about these guys going back and forth all the time hopefully they stay close to where where stuff is being produced and move it out from there but anyways i thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed and as always i'll see you in the next one later